You're a big fan of thunderstorms. I am. I love thunderstorms as long as they're not accompanied by uh, tornadoes, oh. which in Wisconsin <laughs> happened a lot. But uh, around here, I remember we seemed to have a lot more back in like the 90s. Yeah, we're talking about severe weather. We did seem to have a lot more thunderstorms back in the 90s, and, and we really haven't had nearly as many over the past 10 years, at least, if not longer than that. We get the storms, but not like it was. That was an abnormally large amount of thunderstorms. We are talking thunderstorms and lightning. Got three questions from Monroe Elementary. Hi, my name is Jeremiah. Hi, my name is Ruben. We go to Monroe Elementary. And our weather question is, what, what is, is lightning made of? Hi, my name is Amy from Monroe Elementary. My weather question is, why does clouds rubbing together make lightning? Hi, my name is Cassandra. I go to Monroe Elementary. And my weather question is, what causes thunder to have sound? All right, lightning and thunder questions from four students from Monroe Elementary. So we're going to try to cover it all right here. First of all, how does lightning form? Well, it's electricity is what we're talking about. And the atmosphere is actually rubbing against the ground, creating static electricity. And so the bottoms of the clouds, you'll have uh, negative charges here. There might be positive charges at the top of the cloud. So you get lightning from positive to negative inside the cloud. But that charge differential, we have positive charges near the ground. They start to line up and they'll even start to run right up the trees here. And if you're in the area, if you get that feeling that your hair is starting to stand on end, that's the positive charge is actually running right up you, and lightning is looking for a spot to strike, and so that's when we get the electrical discharge here, the lightning striking, and then we have now a redistribution of the charges here, pluses and minuses, until it builds back up again. So there's a thunderstorm danger. When you see a thunderstorm off in the distance, you have to keep in mind that lightning may extend out four miles. When you hear the phrase out of the blue, it comes from the phrase bolt from the blue or a lightning bolt that comes out of a blue sky because it may be blue skies here, but that lightning bolt can shoot out four miles ahead. So near thunderstorms, you want to stay away. And if you want to check the distance of the lightning, time lapse, or I should say the time lapsing between the lightning and the thunder, if it's five seconds, that's one mile. And so anytime the uh, sound is 10 seconds uh, between the flash and the thunder, you want to take shelter. In other words, just a couple of miles away, take shelter because again, that storm could be affecting you. How do thunderstorms occur, or how does, they, how does the uh, thunder occur from the lightning? It's actually a rapid expansion of the air. We're heating the air to 30,000 degrees in an instant. And so the heat expands the air very, very quickly, and then the lightning bolt is gone like that. The air cools, and it comes back together, and that's the clap of the thunder making those compression sound waves come towards you. That's where the thunder comes from. They both happen at the same time, but lightning travels a lot faster than the sound does. Lightning hits the Earth 8.6 million times each day, so the atmosphere is constantly trying to balance out the charges, and uh, we get lots of casualties from lightning, so we have to be aware of lightning here in Idaho. So, everything you needed to know about lightning and thunder. In one minute. Yes. <laughs> Rapid lightning. Kaboom! He's done. <laughs> lightning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and if you God. do hear your, or feel your hair standing on end, what do you do? Uh, make you should small? actually crouch down on the balls of your feet. Where you, you kind of get up on the balls of your feet. Huh. You don't want to lay down flat and then put your hands over your head and, and, cr and create almost like a ball as low to the ground as possible. Wow. So, you do that immediately. Small target. Yes. There you go. Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, whenever